Hello everyone, this is Frank Etheridge. I'm the editor of Electric City, and I'm here at the beautiful home of Lieutenant Paul Quivarius. How are you? Good. Good. Um, if y'all haven't seen it, Paul and his wife and family were recently featured on the uh, Discovery Plus channel, their show, First Time Fixer, which is about people obviously fixing up a home. And this is one of the beautiful homes in the Historic District, uh, down the corner of 6 and Broadway, and built, according to this, in 1860. Um, so tell me, how did you first? How did y'all find this home? So the army moved me down here to Columbus, and I was, you know, I had a house that I'd bought down here, you know, years and years ago, and I'd been renting it out. And my wife was still in D.C., so um, we were content that I was going to come down here for two years and then try to go back to D.C. and rejoin her. Um, she came down and visited me you know, several times, and um, we're driving around down here, and she saw this house and told me we've got to have it. <laughs> so right. yeah, so that began the long process of uh, putting in bids and trying to figure out how we can afford this house. Okay. What attracted your wife to this home? The neighborhood and my wife has an eye for these sort of things. She mm. likes to she likes to do the, the fixer upper mm. type of stuff. So she saw this and she had like immediately she had a vision for it. When we bought this house it was in bad shape. Mm. Um, and she just had a vision and I just sort of trusted in her. <laughs> Good. Um, how did the how did the first first time fixer uh Generally, my chip is that it is chip and joint again. Yeah, how how do they find y'all? So, again, my wife is on Instagram and a lot of those websites, and um, I guess there was an ad on there doing a call for a new show. Um, chip and Joanna broke away from HGTV mm -hmm. or whoever they were before, and so they started their own network called the Magnolia Network underneath Discovery Plus, and um, she went to the website and saw it and applied and we got accepted. Excellent. Um, did you all enjoy the experience of doing the show? It was stressful. Yeah. Um, we broke their deadlines by several months and we still didn't get the house done you know, to the way we wanted it. Hold on, it's still not done today, but um, it was stressful, but at the same time, I think it pushed us to get things done that maybe we would have put off another week or two here or there and got us into the house late but still you know, we're, we're here now, so. well renovations they always say twice as much twice as long especially during COVID oh my gosh I can't imagine um, what uh, beyond the television show what, you know, what kind of reactions have y'all gotten from people you know about seeing you all on TV um, family members and friends they've looked it up and you know they're all super happy for us we had like a reveal party here and we invited a lot of people from the neighborhood that so moving down here this is the first time I've lived in a neighborhood where I knew not necessarily all my neighbors, but I got to know them, you know, before we even lived here. They'd stop as we were here working on the weekends and stuff, and we'd give them, like, little quick tours as everything was under construction, and so we invited all the neighbors over here, and they were all, like, they are overwhelmingly happy, happy and surprised at, you know, the job that we did on it. Yeah, these homes are definitely a huge asset to Columbus, and it's important that the people such as yourself take care of them. Um, were there any challenges that were uh, obviously COVID? But were there any challenges that you could not anticipate in the house? <laughs> any worms or any? Well, we, we started out bad. Um, our contractor that we hired, our general contractor, um, we ended up having to fire him after two, two or three months. And then, because of the the structure of the home loan that we took to do this, um, we were forced to sort of pay out of pocket for a good portion of it until the the, the bank accepted that we weren't going to get a general contractor. Mm -hmm. So they just sort of had to trust us and they sent the inspectors down here and after we completed X amount of work, they would then agree to give us some of, some more of our home loan. So it, it was it was just a challenge throughout um, in finances, financing everything. What would you call the architectural style of this house? Is it colonial or what? Yeah. Um, There's lots of federal I know it's big down here. So the original guy who did the plans, um, who, so when we bought the house, it was already gutted. Mm -hmm. Somebody else had bought it started work on it and then just gave up and um, sold it to us. So we had another, um, a local architect came down and he did some plans, a floor plan for us. And we asked him about that and he said, it could be any style you want. <laughs> right. Um, because it does sort of a bungalow, but a bungalow is not a, an architectural style necessarily. Mm. Um, but um, jo Georgian was another one that was used. Mm. So I call it Georgian bungalow, I guess. Yeah, but it's a beautiful home. Is there any, I mean, I love the detail around the door. Did y'all bring this out yourself, just sanding it? Or? Yeah, my wife, um, she did a lot of that. So it was it was caked in a thick black paint. 
mm -hmm. several layers and she put chemicals and did a lot of sanding so she she brought the beauty back out in this and we're gonna finish it again but it's just gonna be you know leave basically natural natural wood yeah and did y'all have any issues with as far as like uh bhar or the story codes was that was that what was that process like so bar um board of Ar historic and architectural review by the way bar. so they only care about things on the outside that's that's their purview um and there were a few things that we wanted to do that were turned down or rejected but you know such as some of the placement of the windows we were wanting to move some of the windows so that we could change the layout of the house on the interior um, some of those things were rejected but they they helped us a lot I mean they, they approved a lot of things like the back porch we built on and, and, and putting the um, the covered back porch they allowed us to put a uh, dormer on the back which I did not expect them to approve so they, they did a lot or they approved a lot more than I expected um, any idea when y'all are gonna be done with the house uh, so I'm hoping by next spring we'll have the backyard done and finished um, up, so the main floor and the upstairs hopefully next three months and then our basement is probably another year off just because it costs a lot <laughs> to do that work so I can only imagine but um, anyway the what you're doing is important for the community and I hope this home is as good to your family as y'all are it today so. yeah we're really proud of it and we love this house so yeah you should be so appreciate it. well thanks for what you do yeah, thank you